Hi, my name is Dasha Dollar Smirnova, and I'm a public speaking coach. And this is Where Do I Look When I'm Public Speaking? Audience interaction is really, really important when you do public speaking. However, it can be confusing to figure out where do you need to rest your gaze in order to involve your entire audience. A good technique is to section off your audience in three sections. So for example, you have the middle, you have the left, and then you have the right. And then you roam your gaze in a triangle to make sure all three sections feel involved. Just make sure you're not always looking at the same person in that section, because otherwise they might start to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Let me show you how that technique works with different sized spaces. So here I have a medium sized room with an audience that's all around you. In this case, you might initially start off by looking in this area, maybe at that woman there at the back. You'll move across to the right, and for a change, look at one of the women in the front. And then you move across to the left and look at one of the women there in the back. And then you come back to the center, but instead of looking at her, because you've already made eye contact with her, you might look at this guy or this woman here. And carry on moving around so eventually all your audience feels involved and engaged with. In a bigger space, where you have the audience in a kind of amphitheater configuration. It's important to consider the center, the left and the right, but also the top and the bottom. So you might look at people here in the front, in the center, then look at people here in the back, then move to people here in the front, people in the back again on the right, and then back to the center, but look at people in the back. Now, finally, eye contact can be a little bit uncomfortable for some people. So if you don't enjoy eye contact, but still need to engage with your audience, look people here, right between the eyebrows. It creates the illusion of eye contact for your audience, but it's a little bit less off-putting and more comfortable for you. And if you happen to see somebody looking away or looking at their phone, or just generally looking miserable, don't take it personally and don't become a mind reader. You don't know what is going on in that person's life. Just rest your gaze on a friendlier face. And if you want to learn more about how to become a public speaker, check out my course on domestica.org.